Ooh, okay. And we're here. We're back. We're live. Sorry for the slight delay, my friends. Uh, like a brilliant person, I decided that I absolutely had to color my hair before I started this. I don't know why y'all can't even see me, but it had to be done, and so it's been done. So, we are now ready to get started. All right, triangular it is. Um, if you'll recall, the last time we were together, we found all of the areas that were accessible by air, and we landed in Tryon Gully, which is a place where humans, monsters, and elves all live together in harmony, and it was founded by one of the seven great sages. And here we were given the dark tree leaf, which should enable us to figure out where great evil is um, and therefore follow it so that we can confront it. Between then and now, um, I did a lot of recipe crafting. So I'm actually going to show you everything that I made. It's on this last page here. So this dark tree leaf, that was one of the things that that was the special item that we got. Um, here is a golden tiara. This is for Jessica. We're going to go ahead and give that to her. Yep. And then this Metal King Helm can now go to Hero. Um, then we made a Phantom Mask for Angelo. This one I didn't talk about before I made it. It's actually a combination of a dark robe and iron headgear. Um, and it gives him the ability to dodge attacks. It's very useful um, because Angelo becomes basically our primary healer. Um, so we want him to live. And the more he can dodge, the more he's likely to live. Uh, we also created the Odin's bow for Angelo. And that is why he didn't currently have a bow equipped. And then this is the Divine Bustier, um, which we created by combining the shimmering dress that we made, oh gosh, three or four sessions and like 15 game hours ago, um, with the Dangerous Bustier, which we got from Princess Minnie for giving her 99 mini medals. And this is Jessica's best armor in the game. And it does also change her outfit. So get used to this outfit, folks. You're going to be seeing a lot of it because there are no more upgrades for Jessica. Um, then we also created the Saintess Shield, which we're going to give to Jessica because she's the only one that can equip it. And we created a Silver Shield, which I'm pretty sure is for Angelo. Yeah, we're going to give that to Angelo. You are determined, aren't you, little cat? No. Go away. Thank you. <laughs> Cats, am I right? Then, the very important item we created, the Timbrel of Tension. This is, like, no, it, seriously, y'all, it's so great. It's so, so great. Um, I usually give the Timbrel of Tension to Yangus. Because he's the only one who doesn't usually have anything else he should be doing. Um, Jessica and Angelo have buffing spells that they can cast. And the hero is occasionally healing the entire party. Um, because he's got the spell that heals everybody to their max health. And sometimes he needs to do that. But Yangus, the most he ever really needs to do is use an Yggdrasil leaf to resurrect someone else. So Yangus is the one for me who gets the first Timbrel of Tension. And I actually don't like it there in his inventory, so we're gonna, we're gonna swap it. Go. That way we have better access to it. Actually want, yeah, I want them in that order. Cool, 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 cool. So now that we've done all of that, and we have all this, all these goodies, I think that was everything I made. Pretty sure. 
Yeah, no, we picked that up. I haven't sorted the, the bag in a while, so I just want to make sure. Yeah, I think that's it. I think that's everything that I made. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yep, we're good. Okay, so now that we've done all of that, um, we're actually going to go to the monster arena. Haha, -ha, you thought I was ready to take on the ultimate bad guy. You're wrong. Because as with all things, um, especially bonus content, there's usually some good loot that's a direct result of this. And in fact, there is. Uh, and we want it. And in our flying around, we also got all of the monsters that I think are going to be necessary. Uh, the only problem is I don't remember which order I need these teams in. If it's the monster, if it's the robot team, and then the golem team, or if it's the other way around. So we're just going to guess. Okay, so License to Smash is the golem team. And Sack Inspectors is the robot team. I'm going to try the robot team first because they're pretty strong. Rank A it is. All right, here we go, friends. Ladies and gentlemen, the Monster Arena is proud to present a Rank A Battle. Let's give the team owners a big hand. The first round is about to begin. In the red corner, we have our heroes monster team. Sack inspectors. In the blue corner, captained by Alwaz. Mountainous monsters, it's the big boys. It's a campaign of pain that'll fry your brain. Let's get it on. Wow, instant kill. That's nice. Holy crap, they're gonna do it again? I don't think I've ever seen them do it twice in a row before. Bye bye, Fru Fru. I don't even know what a frou-frou is. Oh, different death move. At least it wasn't a desperate attack. I don't know how many more of those I can take. So you can see there are pros and cons to having them use the death move. Like, killed those two guys in that one attack. But if it doesn't kill them in their one attack, you basically sacrificed five additional attacks for that one attack. The fans are going absolutely wild. And now, it's time for round two of the Rank A Contest. The team are ready to go the fans are ready to go heck i'm ready to go let's hear it for round two in the red corner we have our heroes monster team sack inspectors in the blue corner captained by attaboy tom from chateau felix it's the wild cats it's a dream duel for monster arena fools let's get it on
Well, that jackal's dead. Alrighty then. Ladies and gentlemen. All right, I think I did want the robot team for this battle. It's the moment you've all been waiting for. The it's not to say they'll definitely win. <laughs> You are about to witness an historic tournament of truly epic proportions. In the red corner, we have our Heroes Monster Team. Sack Inspectors. In the blue corner, captained by Aman. The faces of fear. It's Fear Factor. <laughs> Which side will soon be champ? Which side will soon be tramps? Let's get it on! So, what makes this fight tricky is that usually your team will focus on the enemy with the least amount of health first, um, which here is going to be that rock bomb on the end. However... The zombie gladiator is very, very deadly, and he should actually die first. And the weird tree thing in the middle has the ability to revive the rock bomb as many times as it wants. So what can happen is that your team gets completely distracted by the rock bomb and doesn't kill the other two because the rock bomb keeps coming back to life. And that could very well happen right here. The advantage to having the robots in this fight as opposed to the golem is that if the golems combine into one enemy, they can only do one attack. And with the robots, they can, in theory at least, do six attacks. Yep, there it is. Sorry, it's a bomb boulder. My bad. See, they're gonna get distracted and they're not gonna they're not gonna do the thing so we basically have to get lucky now we need them to stop doing their ultimate there you go that a boy That'll help. Crud. Well, now they can't do their ultimate. So here's hoping. All right. That's a good sign.
right, it's one on one now. Let's see what happens. Yes! <laughs> We love that win big music. Well, I didn't see that coming. I've been in this job a fair old while. Let me tell you, but this is the first time I've ever seen anyone make it to rank A. Here's your prize. Well done. Fantastic. He's so enthusiastic. All right, that's the second best spear in the game. Mamma mia! I never thought I would see to live the day. You are one chip of an old block, eh? When we are first met, it was just by chance. But now, now I know it was meant to be. You Is that better, King? And you give it your best to shooting, eh? Now, look at what the passion and the gusto have become. I have nothing more to give you, ragazzo. But I can offer you one final challenge. Fight me! Become the strongest monster team owner in all the world. Our passionate encounter will take place here in my monstrous pit. I told you, Mori, I don't want to hear about your monstrous pit. This is the final rank, rank S. In rounds one and two of rank S, you will fight against the two strongest monster teams I ever see. And in the final round, you will fight me! Okay, ragazzo, it is time for you to show just what you are made of. Passion versus passion. Gusto versus gusto. And I have given the life back to your dead team members. And don't think I will be going easy. I don't wish you the buona fortuna. Now, we are rival. I will be waiting for you in my pit. All right, here we go. Last rank. Is the audio a little bit better now? I do, uh, I do turn down the game audio when I'm playing because otherwise it's real loud. Um, we're going to send in the golems this time, because I'm pretty sure the golems are the one I want to beat Mori. Um, but the robots were the ones I needed to get to Mori, so. And if that doesn't work, we'll send in the robots, because we have two teams! Ladies and gentlemen... The Monster Arena is proud to present a Rank S Battle! Let's give the team owners a big hand. The first round is about to begin. In the red corner, we have our Heroes Monster Team! License to smash! In the blue corner, captained by Tornico Taloon, Live from La Canaba, it's Taloon's Treasures! It's a close fight that's bound to excite. Let's get it on! Boop. Oh! Already? Well, that's okay. I'm okay with that. Don't fall asleep, bud. Yeah! Good man. 
So the advantage here is that at the end of this fight, they'll go back to being three separate monsters, and they'll all still have full HP, unless Mazin dies. So, the trick is just, don't die. The problem is, Mazin only gets one attack. Yeah, get out of here with your whack ass. That worked out. That worked out quite nicely. <laughs> now we have to do it again, though. The fans are going absolutely wild. And now it's time for round two of the Rank S contest. The teams are ready to go. The fans are ready to go. Heck, I'm ready to go. Let's hear it for round two. In the red corner, we have our Heroes Monster Team. License to smash! In the blue corner, captained by Ragnar, the Burland Buddies, it's Healy's Healy's. That's a terrible pun. It's a historic hoedown of a showdown. Let's get it on. Yeah, see, that's what you want to happen. You want to be able to soak up some damage before they merge. Um, because once they merge, they automatically have, um, basically a thousand HP. Alright. Kill something. That didn't work. We didn't kill anything yet. As long as they heal slime is attacking us and not healing the other two, we should be fine. It's, uh, it's when the heal slime starts doing the healing that we're in trouble. Okay, good. Now it's just us and the heal slime, and I think we can take him. Why is it attacking and not healing? That's so weird. I've never seen that before. Usually it heals, like, every turn. Okay, well, don't look a gift win in the mouth, I guess. Ladies and Gentlemen, you are about to witness a once-in-a-lifetime event with unimaginable implications. Our champion has obtained every rank in existence. That is why we've created a very new one. Rank S. The battle for rank S will be the battle to end all battles, and the champion will have to defeat none other than the man himself, Mori Mozzarella! Wait, what? His name is Mori Mozzarella? You should have led with that, bruh! This is it. The creme de la creme, the battle royale, the mother of all monster arena contests. In the red corner, we have our heroes monster team. License to smash. In the blue corner, captained by Mori, numero unos, it's Mori's glories. 
You think you got what it takes to go toes to toes with me, eh? Bring it on, ragazzo. You're in my pit now. <laughs> okay, but that's not really fair, because I had to fight two other teams to get to you, so, like, Which rude. Which monster team will emerge victorious? Which monster team has what it takes? It's impossible to predict until we get it on. I don't want to get it on with Mori. I've been very clear about that. All right, so this is one of the tougher fights because, as you can see, he has a fucking me liquid metal slime. Which are very hard to kill. Unless you land a desperate attack. Okay, we're okay, we're in business. <laughs> you go ahead and assess. We're just gonna murder you. Uh-oh. Oh good. And that's why you take stone dudes into battle. Oh, you're right, Keen. Mori is painfully Italian in every possible respect. <laughs> uh oh. That's not good. But he doesn't have the cure slime to keep him alive, so. Stoneman, you better do something cool. Come on, bud. Oh, that's pretty cool, I guess. There we go. So you saw the strategy, robots and then golems. Um, it also helps that we were level 50. Yeah, usually I'm like level 42 when I'm taking this on um, at this stage in the game. However, we did some preemptive leveling, so we were definitely strong enough to handle this. I just couldn't remember in what order you wanted to use them in. Uh, but I used them in the correct order, so it's all good. Did that, did that come through the audio? So weird. Like some kind of car just went past the window and it was like real obnoxious. <sighs> I, uh, I'm lost for words. I really don't know what to say. Give me my prize. I suppose I should give you your prize, eh? <laughs> Here you are! Dragon robe! Ragazzo. No! Now, I must call you champion, eh? Every day without the failure, I am here in Arena, striving to make the better monster team. In my mind, all I am thinking is how to make the team stronger, how to give it more gusto. But I am nothing compared to you, champion. Grazie. You really make my dream come true. I've been waiting for this day. 
for the momentous day, I finally find the hair of my monstrous pit. <coughs> I think Maury's just become a real boy. Let me give you one last reward. When you leave, take the look at the place where we first met. Arrivederci, champione. Right. We have now conquered everything that the monster arena has to offer us. And Mori ran out of things to give us, so I guess we'll go look at the place where we first met, because that's what he told us to do, so we're going to go do that. When we first met at the top of this building. What? It's a statue of us. Look it, look it. Spit an image. I don't have a sword equipped at the moment, but spit an image. Look, it's even got tiny munchie. Look at his little stony face. I love munchie so much, you guys. He's just, he's the greatest mouse in the world. Okay. But, what was that other prize that we got? Ooh, a dragon robe. Guess who gets this? That's right, our boy Angelo. And, that is now two of the strongest armors in the game. Jessica's got her strongest, Angelo's got his strongest, um, and then there is one more upgrade that we could potentially make for these two gentlemen. Uh, but it does require that wonderful metal or halcom, which honestly, I got better things to spend it on, you know? You know what I'm saying? So probably aren't going to worry too much about that. However, with that done, um, I've run out of ways to put it off any further. So we are going to have to, I think. Yeah, we're going to have to do it. We're going to have to give everybody an elfin elixir. Do, 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 do. Well, maybe not hero. Just because his hands are already so full. Oh, no, he's already got one. He's already got one. Don't have to worry about it. Okay, cool. All right, so what we're going to do, we are going to zoom um, to the spring to heal just to see if the princess has anything to say to us, which I don't think she does because we haven't done anything, but story-wise, we haven't done anything story-wise. And the last time we were here, she didn't have anything to say to us either, so... But I think that was pre triangle Okay, yeah, that was pre triangle You know how ever since I've started drinking from the spring, I've been able to talk to you in your dreams? Well, I remember you telling me that you had a bad dream the other day. You said you were lost in a cave full of giant dragons. You couldn't find a way out, and you were about to be crushed under their feet. Whenever you have a nightmare, just call for me. I'll come to you. That way, at least, we can be afraid together. Is that the appeal of scary movies? To be afraid together? All right. We've talked to the princess. We've fought all the monster arena battles. We are ready to get revenge. So, where is he? Oh, hey. Oh, hey. And also, now we can see him. So, we can chase him. Woo! If I were better at flying. Oh my gosh. Come here, bruh. Come here. 
Come here. Why are you so much faster than me? Oh my god. You're cheating. Quit cheating. Quit cheating. Come here. I need to fight you. Come here. Come here. Does he, like, know that we're following him? That's what I want to know. Because, I mean, it's not like he's got rear view mi mirrors. Aw, oh, snap. He's going straight for the Lord High Priest's house. This is a problem. We got a problem. Yes, land. That turd burger's here. We have to go get him. Oh, fuck. Ominous bullshit, go! We go friends now if you'll recall we have been here once before and we did already loot this place what was that did you see that hideous black beast is the lord high priest safe probably not if uh our previous experiences in this game are anything to go by Probably not. Your your boy's in trouble. You help me. His holiness is in danger. An evil creature has forced its way into his chamber. You have to help him. And don't forget to mention tell his holiness that it was High Priest Rollo who sent for help first. Um, I'm not entirely certain that that's going to be relevant, but okay, sure. Let's talk to the bread. What a sinister feeling. By the goddess, what is that beast? Oh, goddess, the guards are in danger. Please help them. Well, guess what? Um, I can be a body for the goddess's son. So I'm basically Jesus. Let's go. Wow. Okay. He had a lot to say there, but it wasn't voice acted. That's interesting. I was expecting it to be voice acted. That's, you know, that's all we got. Okay. So, first off. Boop, boop. Definitely gonna use that. Gonna use that. Gonna use that. Gonna use that. Hmm. It would have been better if the tension had happened first, but, you know, whatever. We should probably have equipped a sword.
Okay, Angelo's gonna oomph Yangus, and Jessica will oomph herself. Dang it. Did not increase to the max. Oh yeah, everybody check out Jessica's new outfit. Woof. All right. Splitter. To heal and twin dragon lash. Oh yeah, suck it dick. little bit battle maiden-y. I don't know. It's definitely intended to be eye candy. I got that much. Okay, that fight was way easier than I remember. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like it when the fight goes easier than I remember. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Fools, how many more times? Until you're dead, bruh. Are you hurt? Thank the goddess. He still has a pulse. What happened? Was it that hellhound? What on earth is going on? Marcello! What are you doing just standing there? Carry his holiness to his bed at once! Get a move on, you sluggard! You're supposed to be master of the guard! I'll have you demoted if you don't snap to it! Are you deaf, Marcello? I just gave you an order! Ahaha! <laughs> Well, well, well. High Priest Rollo. I had no idea you were so devious. What are you laughing about? I fail to see anything funny about the situation. Enough of the pretense. I know it was you who employed these thugs and that dog. What an elaborate scheme. Engineering a diversion to give you time to effect the assassination of the Lord High Priest. I was aware of your desire to be his successor, but to resort to murder. What rot! How dare you! I plan nothing of the sort! Arrest them! Exile High Priest Rollo to Purgatory Island, along with these thugs. They will learn that succession comes at a high price. Take them away! Yes, sir! Gee, who would have guessed that the dude who kind of looks like Vegeta would turn out to be evil? They Fuck say that guy. every dog has its day. And it seems I have a dog to thank for mine. Hmm? Well, that's not a good sign. Insolent traitors! 
How dare you treat me like this? I am to be the next Lord High Priest! Do you hear me? I am innocent! You should arrest that miscreant! Stop! Wait! This is all a misunderstanding! <sighs> One of my own men. That turncoat. How could Marcello do this to me? I was so close. He was a frail old man. All I had to do was wait, and I'd have become the next Lord High Priest for sure. This is Purgatory Island. Venus criminals are locked away until they die. Once you're in here, death is the only way out. Curse Marcello! That traitor will rot in hell! The Lord High Priest dies from shock, and the High Priest out of the picture too. This is better than I ever could have hoped. Ah! Ah! My head! I can't bear it! What's happening? My flesh and blood are trapped. Sealed away by those infernal sages. That voice. Who is it? What do you want? The scepter! A new hand to hold the scepter. A new body to control. You are a slave to the scepter. You will obey my command. I obey no one. What? Oh. I'm notoriously bad at taking orders. Well, so maybe not power hungry enough. Marcello may be a traitor, but I could not ignore his uncommon determination and strength. Not to mention his skill with his sword. It was my intention to use him to position myself as the Lord High Priest's successor. I used Marcello to eliminate all opposition. All I had to do was wait. Once I had cleared the path for my promotion, the only obstacle was time. But I did not foresee this turn of events. How could I let that stripling undo me? Listen, you can hear the voices of the convicts below. We have arrived. This is Purgatory Island. Hell on Earth.
We definitely still have all of our weapons though, so like... Also, we just killed a thing that no one else could have killed, so I don't understand really, um... What the deal is here. Oh, shit! Wow. Okay. Our only respite from this unending torment is the dream of release into the waiting arms of the goddess. Dear goddess, why must we suffer such pain? Ugh, how could this happen to me? Confound Marcello and his <coughs> scheming. Poor things. Far too young to be in a place like this. <laughs> no one who comes in here ever gets to see the sun again. The only way out of here is in a coffin. Oi, that water's mine. You're new here, ain't ya? You don't even get a mouthful of it, do you hear? Yep, that's on brand. Clouded and muddy. Uh-huh. Okay, cool. Oh, not more poor souls consigned to Purgatory Island. What a terrible tragedy. I'm afraid I can do nothing to help you, my child. Even the goddess has forsaken this infernal pit. I wonder what the old codge is making of all this. We just left him and the princess by the entrance to that Lord High Priest place, eh? I hope they're all right. I'm a bit worried about him, you know. What do you think will happen to us, Edric? I thought we were finally going to defeat Rapthorn once and for all this time. But look at us! Yep, that's what people want to do. They want to look at you, Jessica. I've got a lot on my mind at the moment. I'm afraid I'm not really in the mood for chit-chat. Let me out! Let me out at once! There's been a mistake! Don't you realize who I am? I'm a high priest Rollo, I tell you! I'm innocent! And these people here with me are innocent too! This is all Marcello's doing! Well. Great. Cool. Um. Say, Munchie, I don't suppose you know a way out of this place. Nope, we're kind of, uh, we're kind of stuck. Oi! What do you think you're doing? There's no point in making a fuss. You'll be stuck in there till you kick the bucket. So just keep a lid on it and stop making such a racket. Goddess on high. For the first time in my life, I pray to you from my heart. I beg for your mercy. Please protect us and the Lord High Priest. Morning, Gov. How did you sleep? I couldn't sleep a wink. What do you think will happen to us now? Oh, I wonder what's going on outside. I don't know. Probably can't be good. Sorry, Gov. I had a bash at breaking the bars and everything, but no joy. Looks like this is one time he muscles ain't no use to no one, eh? Sorry to let you down, Gov. A lot of nothing to say, I guess. Roll up, oh, there he is. Purgatory Island. I'd heard rumors about this place, but I didn't realize it was quite so horrific. I'm ashamed to say that I've sent a fair few people here over the years, but this is the first time I've ever set foot in the place. If I'd known how awful it was, no. 
Enough of my excuses. I suppose I'm completely to blame. Well, someone's learned a lesson. Isn't that High Priest Rolo? No, it can't be. Now my eyes have started to go on me. Ah, uh, my home. It's the most beautiful place you ever saw. Flowers everywhere in the spring and golden fields in the autumn. I'd give anything just to set eyes on the place once more before I die. <sighs> I'm so hungry. Mummy! I want my mummy! There's no difference between day and night down here, but I can still judge the passing of time. Ah, looks like it's that time again. The guards change shift once a day, so I can always tell when I'm one day closer to heaven. Literally once a day they work a 24 hour shift? Well that sucks. Oi! What do you think you're doing? There's no point in making a fuss. You'll be stuck in there till you kick the bucket. So just keep a lid on it and stop making such a racket. I'm making, yes, this is the racket that I am making. I am running in circles, making a racket. I wonder what became of the scepter after we defeated Leopold. Surely, you don't think it's happened again, do you? That someone else has, no. party was helpless to do anything but watch time tick slowly by, imprisoned on Purgatory Island. Good day. So what's going down up top then? I'm going tropo stuck down this hole looking at these filthy cons all day. I gotta tell you, mate, there's some big news. The whole world's gone crazy. Come on, then, spit it out. Don't make me guess, mate. Okay, but it's gonna shock you. The Lord High Priest went and kicked a flaming bucket a month ago. And that's fair dinkum, mate. What? His Holiness is dead? That, that can't be. Shut your trap. Don't forget where you are. But, but what happened? How did he die? Didn't he just tell you to shut it, you big galah? <laughs> it, it can't be. How could this have happened? A month ago, His Holiness has been dead all that time. A whole month. It must have been just after we were brought here. Listen to me. 
When I overheard the guards talking about the Lord High Priest's death, do you know who sprung to mind? Marcello. He had something to do with this. Maybe he... No, he may be a traitor, but surely he wouldn't go that far. We're helpless to do anything while we're trapped here on Purgatory Island. We have to escape from this place if we're to find out the truth. There must be a way. Ah, I have an idea. Gather everyone together, and I'll tell you. So, that's the plan. Right, let's get to work. Goddess on high, please let this succeed. Ah, ouch! Oh, it hurts! Ah, ah! Somebody help me! My stomach! The pain's unbearable! Here! Yeah. Are you all right, mate? What's wrong with ya? <clears throat> He's going to die! Uh, help! But my gold rosary! I swallowed it, and now the pain is unbearable! Oh, oh, this is... This is what you get at the Royal Shakespeare Academy. Like, right here. Top quality acting. What? You swallowed your gold rosary? What on earth did you go and do that for, eh? It's so valuable. I did not want to lose it. When they brought us here, I swallowed it so no one would take it from me. Ouch! It's so painful! My gold rosary is digging into me! Ouch! Did we mention it's gold? Because it's made out of gold! And it's colored as gold! Struth, did you hear that, mate? He said it's made of gold. <laughs> hey, old man, feeling a bit crook, are ya? We'll look after ya, at least till that gold rosary comes out of ya, one way or another. <laughs> We better give him a good check over, just in case there's anything else in there. Thank you. You are so kind. Thank you so much. Could you just do one thing first? Are you? What's that? Take a little nap, you half-wit nurses. Holy <laughs> dooly! <Holy dirty>. Oh! <coughs> Right then, now! Get in a what? Why? Why ain't it moving? Is it bust or something? Ah, it's that lever. Whenever the guards change over, one of them has to operate it. Someone will have to stay behind. Otherwise, we're all stuck here. I'll do it. It's me duty to the gov. No, wait. I'll do it. You? What are you gonna do if you don't get out with everyone else, eh? 
Them nurses will finish you off when they come round. You ain't no match for them. Even if I were to escape from here, the church would catch up with me soon enough. Let me do this. Please. Just promise that you'll find out what really caused His Holiness's death. It's imperative that the truth is made public. You're a good bloke, Rolo! You must find out the truth! Don't worry about me! Just make sure you escape! You must learn the truth behind His Holiness's death! So, you two oafs are awake. I'm sorry to have to inform you that I will not be producing a gold rosary from either end in the foreseeable future. I'm ready. Do what you will with me. Okay, but we didn't do that on purpose. It just happened. So, you can you can tell how good they take care of their uh, prison system. You inconsiderate nincompoops! Where on earth have you been? I've been beside myself with worry. If you will be imprisoned, kindly make it somewhere easier to find. <laughs> Nincompoops, every one of you. I'm terribly sorry that my harrowing prison ordeal inconvenienced you so much. Well, anyway, never mind. At least you're all safe. Oh, I suppose you've heard. The Lord High Priest has been killed. And it's quite clear who the culprit is. No time to shilly-shally. Come along. We must go. Uh, sure, but like, where must we go? Oh, that was easy. <laughs> I guess we found the location of great evil. Um, however, you know, we've been in prison for a while. I feel like maybe it's in our best interest to save. I, th I think we'll have time to save once we get here. Okay, yeah, it didn't immediately throw us into anything, so. Uh, if you were a church, where would you be? There you are. The church is in the basement? That's weird. No, this is not a church. This is not- wait, what? We've not been in here before, friends. What? We missed it when we were looting before. Oh my goodness.
Holy charms and amulets. Verily, a holy charm to protect thee from spells of death doth exist. Mixeth a tough mark with a phial of holy water and a gold rosary. Thus shalt the blessed amulet be thine. Okay, I've already done that, so I guess this was not as illuminating as we'd hoped. The room through here is use being used by the new Lord High Priest Marcello. Okay, but what I actually wanted was the save spot. Is there no save spot here? Oh my god, y'all. There is no save spot in Neos. How is there no save spot in Neos? Okay, well, there's no save spot in Neos. <laughs> yeah, there is no save spot. Okay, well, you know what that means. Debut church time. Because I don't know about you, but if anything stupid happens, I don't want to relive the purgatory cutscenes. because we beat the monster arena as well, so we don't want to have to redo that. Alright, and then let's take a nap just to see if uh, the princess has anything to say to us in our dreams. That's what I thought. I'm so glad you're safe. When you were captured, I didn't know what I was going to do. Father and I decided to continue the journey by ourselves. <laughs> but, you know, <laughs> he couldn't stop talking about you. He really depends on you. Of course, I do too. Oh, if only Prince Charmels were more like you. Then I could marry a man I'm actually in love with instead of a piece of human garbage. Fine, you're still a horse. We gotta we gotta unhorse you before you can marry anyone. Pretty sure horses aren't allowed to get married. done this a while ago. Need more highly strong cheese. It's very important. I just forgot. It's fine! Alright. Back to Neos! Once more with feeling. Inauguration, eh? Don't cause a disturbance. I'll do my damnedest. Hmm. 
Ladies and gentlemen, as you are all aware, the Lord High Priest has passed away. Our prayers go with him. Now he sits beside the goddess. There are those intent on making spurious allegations about the circumstances surrounding his passing. But I can assure you, he died a natural death. And I tell you this, I have no intention of becoming the next Lord High Priest. Or rather, I have no intention of becoming another hollow idol like all those we have had to endure until now. I ask you, what is a king? A king is but a man born into the right family. Should that give him the right to do whatever he pleases? Be waited on hand and foot and answer to no man? A soldier demanding such treatment would never be tolerated. Even if such a soldier had the stature of a king, he would never be allowed to escape the social class into which he was born. I am such a soldier, born out of wedlock and thrown out of my own home. A commoner like me has no right to be Lord High Priest. That is the belief of the Church. Yes, such positions of weighty responsibility should be filled exclusively by incompetent aristocrats. Timely. A great, noble, and righteous holiness. Whatever did he achieve? A sorrowful prayer for our uncertain world? Perhaps. But certainly nothing more. The Lord High Priest, our kings, our goddess, all of them reign over us from their high, exalted thrones. Each one as useless as the next. But I am different. For I have not one drop of nobility in my veins. Well, that's just straight not true because your father was a nobleman, so you're half noble, so... But continue with your political lies. Yet I am here. And only as a result of nothing but my own merit. And scheming, and lying, and underhanded dealings, and bribery, and all the kind of thing that you don't want in a church leader. Follow me! It is time to oust our artless rulers. It is time to choose a new leader. Does seem like these people have a lot of choice. So, you have a choice. Follow me. Or meet your fate, just as those intruders shall. Bro, what did I do? All I did was walk in and watch. I mean, yes, I was gonna oppose you, but, you know. Now it's time to use my power. Should have stayed away. 
But if you stand between me and my destiny, you leave me no choice. All right, here we go. Let's see here. Do we have any support spells? No, not really. Not really. All right, well. I do not remember if he can do fire-based spells, so we're just gonna end Salado just as a precaution. Wave of ice! Gosh dang it! That's that's what you don't want right there. Alright, fine. Fine. If that's how you want to play, that's how we'll play. All right, time to bust out Omni Heal. The nice thing about Omni Heal is that it does not use your tension level, whereas Multi Heal does. one but with your help I can finally control this flesh as my own now 
now that this fool has disposed of the Lord High Priest for me, the final heir is no more, and the seal of the scepter is broken! Yes! The time has come for my resurrection! Now! Complete my revival. My revival to flesh and blood! Friendly monsters are scared. What? What what are you doing? Let me go. If you hadn't interfered, I could have had all of Rapthorn's power. But it's all over now. All hope is gone. Let me go. I don't want your help. No. I won't let you die. You will go on living, knowing that the brother you despised your whole life took pity on you. I won't let you have 
everything your own way. You're determined to disgrace me more? You! I mean, you did a really nice job disgracing yourself. I was just present as it happened. More than ten years. It was more than ten years ago that I first came to the Abbey, having lost my family. And you were the first person I spoke to. I had nothing. No family, no home. I was all alone, and I didn't know anyone at the Abbey. You were kind to me. Just for those first few moments, you were genuinely kind. As soon as you found out who I was, it changed everything. But I never forgot that moment of kindness. You will regret the day you saved my life. You know, I really don't care. Do your worst. You can't hurt me anymore. Isn't this your ring? Your Templar's ring? It's yours. It means nothing to me now. Angelo, are you just going to let him leave? He's really badly hurt. He's not gonna let me help him, so... Alright, so, uh, the Templar's Captain Ring, I'm, like, 90% sure that it has two bonuses. Yes, it's also an increase to wisdom, um, so this is actually a pretty good accessory, um, Except everybody's currently got agility boosting accessories on because it's kind of more important to me. Um, but that's just that because that's who I am as a person, I guess. Uh, so, yeah. Okay, cool. So we fought Marcello and shit, there's like a flying. Wait, where is it? Well, that's weird. Okay. Um... Well, there was a thing here. And now it's not here. Uh, cool. 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 What on earth happened? There's nothing left of the Holy Isle. And what's that floating castle and the crimson sky? What are we going to do? Um, that is such, such a good question. I don't have the answer to that question really just i have no idea do, i do not it's just it's gone everything's gone but most of the people seem to be okay except you know all the people that were in the thing um yep okay well well I guess we fly, right? Like, that's the, the logical thing to me, right? It's in the air. We can be in the air. Let's, let's go check it out.
Oh hell. Oh hell. This place is scary. Okay, so welcome to the Black Citadel. Uh there is actually another optional dungeon that we could go do. However, it doesn't have anything that I feel like we need in order to progress the story. So we'll go do that. I don't know. Some other time. But for right now, it is Black Citadel time. Yay, a map. Y'all know how I feel about maps. We are big fans. Big fans of maps. Okay, this is clearly some sort of, like, church. Some sort of church of darkness. Okay, cool. Cool. Cool, cool. This place is, like, part city and part dungeon. Um, and I will get lost. So just bear with me, my friends. <laughs> Because I am absolutely going to get freaking lost in this place. That wasn't where I wanted to go. Because it's broken. Oh, hey, look, books. It appears to be a note written by an alchemist. Legend has it that combining a life bracer with a certain sword will result in the creation of a most miraculous item. The only question is, which sword to use? I've devoted 30 years of my life to the study of alchemy, and I still haven't figured it out. Spoiler alert, it's the miracle sword. You want a miracle? Miracle sword. It's a book entitled Mask of Darkness. Those who wear the phantom mask cloak themselves in the darkness, making it more difficult for enemies to hit them. It's said that this mysterious mask is the product of the combination of a certain iron helm and a certain dark garb. And that is, in fact, the mask that uh, Angelo is wearing right now. So, hey, y'all, it's Barney. No, the color scheme's not quite right. Barney's purple and green. But yeah, that is the map. Um, technically, it's a helmet, even though it's a like a map. 
um, that Angelo is wearing right now that I created during my crafting session between the previous session and this one. The pages of this book are filled with squashed insects. Gross. No, thank you. The winter issue of a magazine called We Love Our Weapons. Having a hard time hacking down liquid metal slimes before they can flee? You're not alone. There's only one kind of weapon for situations like this, and that's the ultimate boomerang. The metal wing boomerang. Not only does it let you attack multiple enemies in one throw, but it's powerful enough to damage even the hardened body of a metal king slime. Sadly, the exact competition, composition of these metal wing boomerangs is shrouded in secrecy. All we know is they're a combination of a certain boomerang and another powerful weapon. Um, to get the best boomerang in the game, you have to sacrifice the best spear in the game and vice versa. So, there you have it, friends. Okay. Look, more books. Also, this is a path we haven't taken yet, so we're gonna go this way. It's a shelf full of ancient chronicles. Our Lord of Darkness, Rapthorn, has launched his glorious new campaign to reign over the world of light. However, a pathetic would-be godbird has attempted to stand between the Dark Lord and his magnificent ambitions. Nevertheless, our mission to subdue the world of light proceeds as planned, and no one, god or man, shall stand in our way. Long ago, the world of darkness and the world of light were united as a single chaotic whole. Our great lord Rapthorn has begun the process that shall see the two worlds united once more. When his glorious goal is achieved, Rapthorn will no longer be revered as the Lord of Darkness, but hailed as the Lord of all creation. Well, why are there so many bookshelves here if none of them are interesting? Goodness gracious. interesting to me is that this place should be more terrifying than the dark ruins were but I actually am not scared of this place like I'm scared of the dark ruins the lord of darkness created a floating fortress to amplify his near limitless power and act as a gateway between the worlds of light and darkness when the portal between the two worlds finally opens the dark brotherhood will flood into the world of light and fill the skies when this comes to pass, the feeble minions of light will be annihilated. Doomsday approaches, and the poor fools can do nothing to stop it. Imperia and her pathetic human minions can muster little in the way of resistance, but caution is, regarded, is required when dealing with the Dragovians. They were nearly wiped out the last time they faced the Lord of Darkness in battle, so the chances of them joining the fray are slim. Still, we must determine where they have hidden themselves. There must be no surprises when Rapthorn's Day of Reckoning comes. Dragovians, you say? It's a book of prophecies. When Sh uh, Sharon, Chiron, Sharon, yeah. when Sharon and Eros meet with a great bow, the re result will be a god to be reckoned with. 
which is a recipe for the bow that Angelo is currently holding, the Odin bow. Ancient super weapons. There are many weapons in the world, but the Megaton hammer is famed as the heaviest of them all. Unfortunately, all who knew how to make this ferocious weapon have long since passed on, and the exact recipe has been forgotten. All we know is that a big axe, a big hammer, and some more halcom are required to make the Megaton hammer. Or a chalcom? Or halcom? Or I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce that word. Someone find out and tell me. Alright, was that all the books? That was all the books. And look, a dead end. Okay, great. Okay, so it wasn't this way and it wasn't that way. I guess we're going back the other way. Can't go up that way yet. Gotta be something. Hey, look, stuff to smash. Like this must have been the inn at some point. The book is so worn and tattered you can't make head nor tail of the text. Okay. Duly noted. It's in here. Nothing. Nothing. Can't go that way. Okay. Cool. Just in there. So I guess we're going this way.
does that go? I think it goes to a treasure chest, so we're gonna take it. We're gonna take this path. I think there's treasure at the end of it. Every time we have to walk past these statues, I'm like, oh god, are these statues gonna come to life? I already know they're not. But <laughs> they just they make me uneasy. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of the statues. Hey, look, treasure. Hey, very important treasure. <laughs> okay, yeah, we wanted that. We wanted that for sure. Kaboom.
Okay. Oh my god, y'all, do you see what I see? It is a hallway full of things to smash. Like, I'm sure they thought that this was going to be real annoying, but honestly, I'm very pleased. It's true. Now would be the perfect time to go all Link from Legend of Zelda, but... Money. Oof, did I get them all? Yep, sure did. We're gonna have to use all of our agility seeds on Yangus because holy shit.
scare one part. Oh, there's another one that we can't get up. Guess we're going this way. We don't see another way to go. Like, I get that it's ominous and shit, but like, holy crap, that's a nice fountain. Like these weird statue things. They kind of look like creepy nuns. Is that the right way or the wrong way? I can't tell. I just genuinely can't tell. <laughs> Okay, incidental level up, I see you. I just don't think I wanted to come this way yet, because I wasn't done exploring that other way yet. Gosh dang it! of yore. The curse placed upon the ruinous shield is too powerful to be lifted by saint's ashes alone. In order to render the ruinous shield fit for use, it must paradoxically first be made even harder and stronger. If you manage to restore the ruinous shield to its former glory, you will hold in your hands the strongest shield the world has ever known. Well, we already did that, so... Thanks. I guess. Yeah, I wasn't done over here. There was something over here I wanted to look for.
get over there. No! How do I get there? I need to go to there. I'm so confused. Y'all, I told you this place is confusing and that I would get lost and that is what's happening. That's what's happening. Oh, yes. I know that there's a treasure chest like on the other side of this wall. I just don't know how to get to it. I need to... Was this the only way I could have gone? Is there like a way over here? Nope. That's not a way I can go. I can't go that way. Okay, cool. Good talk. dancing. That's what you get for making my friend dance? <laughs> I like how Yangus, when he's shocked, just like fully falls over. some bullshit. We will take the instant to level up. It is uh science I think we were doing. Yep. And that's the reason we were doing science, so that he could learn steel sickle. Okay, so We turned that on after coming down these stairs. But I can't go up those stairs yet. I guess there's stairs over here. No, this is where I came from, isn't it? Yep, sure is. Okay, well. Well. Uh, I guess I was going the right way originally. <laughs> and I just thought I was going the wrong way. And now we're here. <laughs> Cause like, I am using a guide. I do have a map, but their map is like a 3D of the area. And mine is like this outline of places you can go and they do not align very well. So there's a lot of me going, wait, which one is which? So, yeah. Pretty sure 
Okay, we came up here. And then we went this way. We can't go that way. What's down there? How do I get... How do I get there? What? Okay, I'm just gonna have to keep going the way that I was going and trust that eventually I'll figure out how to get over to the downstairs portion of this room because everything is busted. It's busted AF, y'all! I need more caffeine. <laughs> oh yeah, Jessica's um, outfit also helps her dodge attacks. And she's got her little angel wings. All right, we're just gonna keep going. The only path that is available to us by process of elimination. <laughs> we came this way. We already investigated that room. So now we're going this way. Just forcing us up. And around. And back down. And through and across and over and blah, 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 blah. Because everything is busted and we have to go the long way to get anywhere. Okay, there are stairs there. There's an ominous hallway here. I don't know if I wanted to take the stairs first. Maybe I did want to take the stairs first. Okay, let's go try the stairs real fast. See where the stairs go. Treasure chest. Okay, stairs were the right call. Okay. Hey, another silver shield. I think that's an upgrade for Hero. It is. A very minor upgrade, but an upgrade nonetheless.
just feel like we definitely missed something, and I don't like feeling that. Holy crap, Metal King Slime, eh? Nope, it ran. Okay, well, never mind. I should have known that it would run. The Lord of Darkness spoke to me. He said, when lost in the city of the spiral, you must never retrace your steps. For if you do, you will lose yourself in yet more powerful illusions. Okay, duly noted, ominous as shit, thank you. Aha! This is where I was trying to get, y'all, I think. I think this is where I was trying to get. <laughs> Watch this still not be where I was trying to go. Nope, this is where I was trying to go. I was trying to get to this treasure chest. Oh my gosh. That was so convoluted. The Sage's Stone! So the Sage's Stone casts multi-heal when used as an item. Um, and you can make one if you use your... Or Halcom. Or a, or a Chalcom. Or go, 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 at the super hard metal. Um, if you use that, you can make one, but there's no reason to make one because, like, we got one for free. So, um, honestly, you don't want to give it to Edric or Angelo because they already have the ability to do that. So I usually give it to either Jessica or Yangus. Um, but since Yangus has the timbal timbrel of tension, I'm going to give this to Jessica. Um, and that way, now, pretty much everybody has a way to heal the whole party, which is very, very helpful going forward. All right, now where the shit am I? Good lord, this place is confusing. Sweet Jesus. 
<laughs> oh my goodness. This place, y'all, is so confusing. And I hate it. I hate it so much. Okay. Okay. Did, did we fully explore... I think we did. I think we did. I think we did. I think we got everything. Okay, great. Bye. Nothing here. Checking. Hey, if the enemies are going to be too stunned to move, I'm just going to run away from them because we got stuff to do. We have a Lord of Darkness to take down, etc., etc. Okay, this is the point at which I think my map starts making more sense. gonna do with a leather cape at this point in the game good lord like really
got a feeling, you know? I feel like we gotta go all the way around. Because why would they ever make it easy for us, you know? I still think that fighting, like, nightly chickens is very weird. soon. Starting to run low on uh, magic for the hero. See, like, it's ominous, right? But, like, it's so pretty, too. You know, if that water were bright blue and there was sunshine in here, man, that'd be impressive as shit. The four statues represent the four pilgrims who will journey under a cloud of sadness. May the darkness surround the lost pilgrims. Oh! Okay, well that's great. Oh shit, what? Oh, uh, excuse me. That is concerning. Wait, can I? Is that really a shop? Can I go in there? No, no, I can. I cannot go in there. Don't think. Um, I don't think I can go in any of these doors. Maybe this one. Nope, can't go in that door. Okay. Well, I think this might be the city of the spiral that that other sign was talking about, and it said, "Do not retrace your steps, or you'll get lost." Nope, can't go in there. Okay. So we're just gonna keep going. Um. My statue lost its head. Could I be concerned about that? Or. It's not deeply concerning. It's fine. Do I want to go up those stairs? Do they go anywhere? No. Don't go anywhere. Okay. Alright. Well. Continue on we must. Okay. I know I passed that before. Oh, this is new. Um. I guess this represents what will happen to the world once Rapthorn takes over.
Ouch. Trying not to walk through the purple goo if we don't have to because it hurts. You know, everyone's lost their heads. Okay, but if everybody's in prison, then who... I don't... Okay, well, maybe he's just gonna imprison everybody from the World of Light. I don't like the look of that guy. time. Okay, y'all, we're about there. Get ready. We're gonna see what he really looks like. <laughs> Go into a battle uh, unfully healed. everything. I feel like we picked up... We did. Who needs that? She knows Kazang. He knows Kazang. Edric knows Zing, but not Kazang.
All right. Let's do it. Are you ready for him? Here he is, the big bad Lord of Darkness. Waiting for you, meddlesome fools! Your pitiful attempts to stop me have been in vain! He looks like a little, like, evil lightning bug, I guess. <laughs> but, like, real strong Dragon Ball Z vibes, am I right? Like, Resurrection to flesh has been a long and painful journey. And what pitiful circumstances we have all had to endure along the way. But, humans, now I will unite us in happiness. <laughs> From this moment, the world of light and the world of darkness will be as one. And this union shall herald the reign of a new ruler. One almighty power to preside over all. The Lord of Darkness, Rapthorn. I'm sorry, bro. I just I can't take you seriously while you're a little lightning bug. You will revere me, and you will offer up your pitiful lives as a mark of your respect and adoration. I don't know how to tell you this, but I neither respect nor adore you. So... Not real. I bet anything this bra has, uh... Wave of Ice or something similar. But we're gonna start the way we always start, by doing all the buffs that we can do until we know for certain. That's why we Ensilatl, baby. That's why we Ensilatl, baby! possibility when we started so here we are uh, but that's okay because Angelo knows Kazang Dazzled. Okay. Wow. 
Pretty good damage, eh? Hey? <laughs> Your wave of ice is useless here. <laughs> yeah, get him, Mason. Thanks, bruh. All right. Um. I will go for that. Well, one of them hit, that's something. good way to deal with the uh oh. dazzled thing is the problem mostly affects our physical attacks, so if I switch to magic attacks, it'll be less likely to do anything. That's my theory. Looks like the dazzle's worn off, that's good. Yeah, everybody can see clearly again, that's nice. I can see clearly now, the dazzle's gone. Okay, I guess that's not going to be a problem. Okay. Um. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool story, bro. I guess we're leaving. This doesn't look good. Uh, we've got to get out of here. Okay. I guess we're running. <laughs> I literally can't go faster than this. <laughs> like, all right, your jog is nice, but I think we need to, like, actually run, bruh. 
I mean, you think you're joking with that Zelda tower crumble sequence, but, um, guess what? Guess what? We do have to run our asses all the way back out of here. Uh, all the way. And... We do have to fight our way out. And these are unavoidable fights. We have to fight our way out. I don't know if Kathwack even works here, but let's find out. <laughs> Trace your steps. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Just keep running in a circle till we can get the hell out of here. Oh. Do not like. Do not like at all. Yep, we get to fight our statue selves. <laughs> Good news is our statue selves can't do anything too crazy.
Oh, here we go. Super Saiyan activate. Okay, so... I have no idea who's like the... I don't know, Shining Shot works here. We're gonna find out. And we can get a bonus heal by touching the tablet. Yeah, 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 we know. May darkness around the lost pilgrims, blah, 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 blah. Just heal me. And let's continue our escape. Like, it's actually really pretty apart from the part where it's trying to, like, murder me. But you will notice that, like, regular enemy encounters are suspended during this run. So there's that, I guess. Yeah, we only we only get this special. You cannot avoid these enemy encounters. Like this one. Where the castle just like made them appear? I don't Okay, I'll take it.
Yep, it's showtime. Um, and I forgot that it was like right up those stairs and I forgot to heal, but it's not that big of a deal. Uh, so we're gonna psych up. We're gonna tense up. Because I'm pretty sure Ruin doesn't have any of those abilities that like negate all of the cool shit that we can do. Also, don't think he's got any fire or ice based spells, but okay. Insulatal is like your best friend, so we're just gonna do use it. Did it hurt itself in its confusion? That was weird, right? Okay, let's see. Psyching up again. Timbrel of Tension again. Uh, but this time, we are casting... Oomph. Doesn't increase to the max. That's a shame. One more time. Let's see if we can't get both Yangus and Jessica up to the maximum level. There she goes. Yes, Queen. already maxed, but, you know, in case she hadn't maxed. But she did. It's fine. All right. Didn't even get to see Jessica's insane oomphed maximum tension twin dragon lash. That's a shame. And we have so much of that now. We got like three pieces of that here. Um First let's heal. Alright. Can I use that now? Yes, I can. Okay, we made it out. Lost. 
has the almighty flesh and blood it deserves. The time has come. Now, for the right of union that will bring the two worlds together as one. You have no right to talk about vulgar, you, like, giant ball sack in the sky. Rockthorn has opened the door between the world of light and the world of darkness. I was able to come through, but in my wake come dark hordes innumerable. Unchecked, his evil minions will exterminate every living being in this world. Are they not living beings, the Dark Minions? Confusing, I guess. I'm overthinking it. Rapthorn has already assumed his full physical form. Matters have gone beyond sealing him away now. Our only recourse is to defeat him in battle. It is the only way to save our world now that he has become so powerful. But the chances of defeating him are slim. You are our only hope. You have the blood of a chosen one in your veins. Within you, there shines a glimmer of light. But in his current state, Rapthorn is protected by a mighty shield. We must first break it down, for it renders him impervious to harm. Hold out your hand. <laughs> I like how he like looked around at everybody else before holding his hand out. That is the Echo Flute. We will not be able to penetrate Rapthorn's shield alone. We will need help. The help of the Seven Sages. The brave souls who sealed Rapthorn away long ago. I can feel them. Their will is strong. They have returned to help us to defeat the Lord of Darkness once and for all. They have taken the form of seven magical orbs, each containing the power of one sage. Use the flute. It will aid you in finding them. They are scattered around the world, but you must bring them together. If you are near an orb when you play the flute, it will answer you with an echo. Just as there were seven sages, now there are seven orbs. You must gather all seven before returning to me here. I too have something I must find, so I must go, but I will return. There is little time. We must hurry. Who are these ladies? We 
are servants to the immortal bird. One of the items you seek can be found to the southeast in Fairbury. Okay. Thanks. Um... Well, they're like the Dragon Quest equivalent of Timmy and Tommy from Animal Crossing, so... Tammy and Tanya? <laughs> okay, so we know we need to start in Fairbury, so we're going to start in Fairbury. Because they just told us to start in Fairbury. I'd say that was a response. Hey, look, there's a sparkly thing over here. Sparkly thing, sparkly thing. I'm gonna touch the sparkly thing. Okay, so. In case this was not clue enough, this is where the first sage died. Um, gosh, I forgot his name because it was so long ago. Master Rylus. This is where the, the first heir to the sages died. Right here in his house. Master Rylus. Um, so if that tells us anything, it's that what we're looking for is going to be where all of the heirs of the sages died. Cool. So on to the next one then. make sure we're in the right place. Very faint. It's not as strong as it was last time, but that's because it's further away. Yeah, let me in. thinking about all the previous times I've been in the Tower of Alexandria. 
and how like early on in the game, man, I like got my ass handed to me in here. Sparkly thing. All right. Let's see, next place is Mayella. Mayella Abbey, I think. Yep. Oh, wow. Uh, well, I guess this place is reduced to debauchery in the wake of... That or they're all partying because Marcello's finally gone. We all secretly hated him. I don't know. up here. Yep, there it is. Alright. So that was the three on this side of the world. Then the next one, I think, was all the way Baccarat, right? Yeah. yeah nice. So if you hadn't done the side quest in the dragon graveyard to open the casino, this is the point at which the casino would now be open. Um, because you would have to have access to the mansion in order to get this orb. Hey, Cash. Hey, Carrie. Don't mind me. Just uh, checking out your dad's old room. You know, because he died in here somewhere, right? Yep, there it is. Alright, so that's four. How are you guys? How you doing? Hey there! Did you come, like, all the way out here just to see us? I'm like touched and stuff. But if you really want to make me happy, head over to the casino and blow a lot of money. <laughs> open the open the door, man. Come on. You know who we haven't talked to in a while. because that cutscene where the like castle raises you see some people but not a lot of people so like we see the seer and Calderasha and they obviously know it's what's what and you also see Rhea in Triangelia and I wonder if we should have gone to talk to them But maybe we only saw them because they're the only people that would know that something was up. Is the world coming to an end? What are we going to do? What are we going to do? I'm, I'm so sorry. 
I lost control for a moment. No matter how frightened I am, I want you to know that I'll follow you to the ends of the earth. I'll do whatever it takes to defeat Rapthorn. As far as I'm concerned, our battle against Rapthorn began the day Dormagus took the scepter. Now the sky is the color of fire, and the entire world is living in fear. This isn't just about Trodane anymore. Everyone's fate is in your hands. And whatever happens, I'll stay by your side, always. Well, that's sweet. Okay, so the next death was... <laughs> David. And then I think we might have to fly to the high priest's house for the last one. Oh, hey, I forgot I even had it on. Go figure. Right here. Ooh, there's also something important that we can now go get. Yeah, so, like, the game gives you the Echo Flute so that you can just, like, teleport around and, like, play it to see. But you don't, you don't need it. You don't need it. Ah, Edric! I do not expect to see you all the way out here. Is everything all right? This is true! You have really defeated the evil dog! I am speechless with gratitude. Now my mother can rest in peace at last. Ah, yes. There is something I want to give you. It can in no way repay you for all you have done, but it is a small token of my thanks. It is not easy to prepare, but I am sure you will find some use for it. Yeah, I know exactly what to do with it. I'm going to make a crimson robe. Thank you much, Lee. Okay. Speaking of which, let me double check the recipe on that. That is an armor item. Boop, 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 I think it's a sage's robe. Magic water and new grass. Do I have a sage's robe? Sure do. All right. To the alchemy pot! So it's magic water, sage's rope, no grass. Oh man, and then we have all that super hard metal that we can start crafting things into.
So my question for all of you, given what we've seen is, did the high priest die of shock or did Marcello kill him? It's something I like, I don't know the answer to that because genuinely it could, it could really go either way. I think it's likely that Marcello killed him in that he did not provide him any help. Like, he didn't help him, so he, the high priest died. That's what I think. And here he is, lying in state. But also, every other orb was found where the sage the heir died, which means he died right here. But we know that when we were taken away, he was still alive. So. I don't know. More questions than answers. That's all it is, my friends. That's all it is. All right, so off to our favorite church. under a sky like this. It stains the color of blood. Does this mean we're nearing the end of our journey? Being cursed seems trivial compared to the thought of Rathorn ruling over the world. That's why you have to defeat him. Everyone's lives are at stake. Do you think I'll return to my normal self if you win? Or do you think I'll have to spend the rest of my days as a horse? Once everything is peaceful again, I want to travel the world together with you. Even if the curse isn't lifted. Because that way, I won't have to marry that awful man and lose you. I'd be happy to spend the rest of my life carrying you on my back and taking you wherever you wanted to go. If that <laughs> happens, please take care of me. I'd never leave your side. I promise. Somebody loves the hero. I mean, can you blame her? Look at this v-neck. Look at this sweet, sweet clavicle. Aw, oh, yeah. Alright, time to save. Because we... We done some shit since the last time we saved, hey friends? Um, I am gonna save it in a new file just because there is that bonus dungeon that I didn't go do and I don't remember where the cutoff point is for it. So we're gonna save it a new file just in case so that later on I can go in and show you what it looks like and we'll clean all that up. Yes. Because I don't know about you, but we are so close to the end. To stop here would be, like, the worst. It would be the literal worst. Um, so, here's what we're going to do. I, there's a method to my madness, okay, y'all? Just go with it, okay? Like, go with, go with it. Just go with it. He really does not need those. Wait. 
Why is this in her inventory? What? How long has that been in there? How useless. Okay, we have all of those. So now we just need for the alchemy pot to finish so that we can make one last trade to Dodgy Dave. Because he wants this crimson robe. That's why we're... That's why we're cooking the crimson robe. Um, and the reason that we come to the top of the monster arena is because this is technically considered part of the overworld, um, which means it's a place you can encounter monsters, but you won't encounter monsters here. So, because the alchemy pot works by steps, and if you're in a battle context area, the number of steps is reduced. So, by running around in a circle on the top of the monster arena, we have to take fewer steps than if we were running around in circles in, say, pick them. Right? So, it's one of those things. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. We are at the end of what my guide can tell me. So, that's fun. Oh man, this recipe takes forever. literally just running in circles just circles circles and circles and circles and in case anybody was wondering what I did to finish all those other recipes this is what I did running in circles until you hear the lovely little ding and the higher the quote-unquote level of the recipe the longer it takes to cook and that's why we are just running in circles up here on top of the monster arena Waiting for that lovely little ding. Just waiting. Just waiting. Hope everybody's Saturday is going well. Or whatever day you're watching this, if you're watching this on YouTube way after the fact. This has been a particularly story, story packed uh, stream, except for this part. Just running in circles. Mm -hmm. Circles. Delicious, delicious circles.
There she is. Ding, fries are done. <laughs> have the ingredients to make more highly strong cheese so I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the pot because like it's useful we don't need it right now but it is useful so we'll go ahead and do that do I have a slime crown shirts I do Crud. Oh, because that means I can make the Metal King armor, which I should make because it is very good armor. Okay, so I lied. I lied about um, <laughs> making cheese. <laughs> yes, I really want to give up halfway through. Give me my ingredients back. Okay. So, because we picked up all of this stuff, we can use that along with the slime crown and this liquid metal armor to make the metal king armor, which is the second best armor in the game. Um, because the best armor in the game is actually in the post game. It's a whole thing. It's fine. Okay, back to the circles, because I want this. I want this before we, we uh, go fight Rapthorn again. It's just crazy, because we beat that guy to a literal liquid pulp. Um, and then he used some kind of evil, magical, dark bullshit to, like, imbue pure rock with organic form and now he's like this giant thing in the sky he's he's a literal flying ball sack oh new monster team name the flying ball sacks that would be good for a monster team that was like a cure slime and like one of those goodie bags and maybe a metal king slime Although you can't get the Metal King slime for your monster team until the post game. Which we're almost at, y'all. I don't think you realize. We are very, 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 very close to ending part one, I guess. We basically have, like, a fight left, and that's it, so... Um... If you're watching this and you're excited for the end sequence, then I recommend you go get your popcorn now because the end sequence is coming up. As soon as I get this armor and we make this trade to Dodgy Dave, we're going to save again. And then we're going to fly back to uh, Imperia and uh, take on the big bad boy. The big bad boy in the sky.
Yeah, I'm still here. We're just running in circles. <laughs> just waiting for that lovely little bell. Just waiting for the ding. Waiting for the ding. Fries are done! Yes! Metal King armor! Aw, yeah. Alright, so. Now we're gonna put the cheese in. Whoop! Nope, nope. Panicked. Where'd the... Wait, where did the cheese go? Did canceling that not give me my items back? Or did it... Oh, no, it just went... That is so weird. Okay, well, whatever. I was like, no, that should return my items. I don't, I don't, I don't know how the alchemy pot works. Magic bullshit, go! Pick em. I need to talk to Dodgy Dave. The Davey Dodgy Dutch. Yeah, I got business to do. Let me in. Yes. Give me the big boss shield. I want it. Sure. I do have one. Isn't that weird? Funny story. Sure, you can have it. I don't need it. Do I have one of those in my inventory right now? I'm not sure. I might. No, I don't. Okay. That's okay. Not worried about it. From this point forward, we got all of the rewards that we can get off of Dodgy Dave, except for just, like, straight up money. Which, money is nice, don't get me wrong, but I don't need that shit. So... Echo. Oh, for sure. The big boss shield went into the bag, didn't it? There we go. Okay. So this is Yangus' best shield, other than the Metal King shield. And he's the only one that can wear it, so he gets it. Which means this shield goes to our boy, the hero. As does this Metal King armor. So now everybody's got kick-ass armor um, because Jessica's got her divine bustier and then Angela's got the dragon robe 
and Yangus has the regular liquid metal armor, and then Edric has the metal king armor. Are we outside? We are outside. Okay, sweet. Nope. Items. Bag. No, no. We're gonna fly. We're gonna we're gonna zoom. We're gonna save. We're gonna make sure the princess doesn't have anything else to say to us in our dreams. She's our little, literal dream princess. We're just gonna make sure. Thank you. Okay, she doesn't have anything else to say to us. That's a good sign. We're gonna save. No, I just realized there's like water in this church. have we been coming to this church and I just realized that these sides are like actual liquid water. <laughs> Random is that? Oh my gosh. All right, it is time. That is not a pad, Lynn. I mean, you should pay attention in church or you might get a bad one. No, that's the Northwest Isle. Where is it? It's over here somewhere. I'm looking for the Godbird Isle. Sorry, I get distracted. Over here? Oh, there's the Chucky Graveyard. Yeah, there it is. We just want to land, like, right about... There. That's where we want to land. Waggles eyebrows suggestively. Oh, hey, look, Imperia is back. Okay, sure, but how do I talk to. I need to talk to my girl. Yo, Imperia! I got the thing you sent me for! located that which may be this world's last hope. Now, I entrust it to you. The scepter! The scepter of Trodane! Careful with that. It's full of hocus pocus. Don't touch it. There is no cause for alarm. The scepter no longer harbors Rapthorn's soul. Now it holds only the souls of the Seven Sages. Over the passage of its long history, the truth behind this scepter has been lost. In the beginning, it was crafted by the hands of the Seven Sages under my instruction. And they gave it a name. They called it the Godbird Scepter. You will need it if you are to break the dark shield around Rapthorn. Only when it is broken will he become vulnerable. Only then can you fight him. I will fly you to his location. The Lord of Darkness will engage you in mortal combat. But you must endure his attacks 
as you pray for the power of the scepter. When the four of you pray for its power in unison, one by one, you will summon the souls of the sages to unlock the power of the orbs. So this is, this is important. Rapthorn is protected by a shield. And we are going to summon the sages to help us break down the shield. The only way to summon the sages is for all four members of the party to pray simultaneously. Which means we have to spend bare minimum seven turns of combat praying for sages before we can even do damage to the boss. Haha! <laughs> And the reason I'm emphasizing that is because the first time I did this, I did not understand why I couldn't do any damage, and I got my butt handed to me. And then I watched this cutscene again, and I went, I'm an idiot. Ha ha! I can give you no more advice. Do you understand what you must do when you face the Lord of Darkness? Yes. Then we cannot afford to delay this battle any longer. Are you ready? Also, yes. You must fight him now. Take the scepter. By the mysterious power of Imperia, each party member receives the Godbird Scepter. Which is why I had to clean out a spot in all everybody, everybody's inventory for the Scepter to go. Alright, here we are. And you can see his bullshit magical shield and how much it sucks. So, it's literally find the scepter in the inventory, pray. one okay you can laugh at me that's fine <laughs> if you're laughing you ain't hurting <laughs> probably do one more round of prayer where we need to take a break for healing and buffing. We don't want to go crazy buffing, obviously, because he's got the wave of ice ability, but that's why the temporal of tension is so wonderful. Ouch. We'll have to heal this next round.
We love Omni Heal. <laughs> All right, back to prayer. buff again. Oh, you just gonna laugh? Okay, sweet. Whoop. Darn, I was hoping he'd attack me once before Wave of Ice hit me. It's alright. How many are we at? I think, was that five or six? Well, we know it wasn't seven, so... I think that was five, so this should be six. These are some intense prayers, yo.
My beloved king, we sages have done all that we can. Now our dear world, our future, lies in your hands. Protect it well. We will be watching you. Farewell, my beloved kin. Farewell, Imperia. and blood. You shall taste the terror eternal. Even death shall offer you no respite. Okay, you cross-eyed ball sack. Alright, now the fight actually starts. So, here we go. No one die. This is very important. No one die. Okay, no one's gonna die. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. We can handle that. No one died. <laughs> The level's too important not to keep trying. Ow. Good. Burst out in defiant laughter. That's fine. Waste your fucking turn, man. Everybody live. Shit. Everybody live. Everybody live. Okay, everybody live. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I was not gonna lie. I was very nervous. <laughs>
Yeah, that's what we want to see. I don't know about you guys, but that uh, fling in the ball thing is giving me real Mandalorian vibes, you know? Been better if uh, yeah, I guess it done first, but it is what it is. Actually, that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad at all. Insulato's our friend. Prepare for the cutscenes! We done it, Gav! We only went and bleed and done it! At last! I can finally go back and tell Bangers and Mesh it's all over. And I have something to tell Alistair too. That he was right all along. I only made it this far because I followed my heart. Hmm. Who'd have thought we'd ever manage it? Hmm, should be an interesting anecdote for the ladies. I saved the I whole bet world. I Grandad and the Orcs Princess would be having a whale of a time by now. They must be back to normal at last. <laughs> Save the whole world. Might just be a nice anecdote for the ladies. <laughs> I'm half surprised the old codger ain't turned up to surprise us as usual. But even he couldn't spring up in a place like this, eh? <laughs> I transported your friends back to their homeland. Each one of you is a great hero. Yangus. Jessica. Angelo. And, of course, you. Edric! I will never forget your strength and courage. You remind me of the Seven Sages. You humans never fail to surprise me. It is time to land. Your friends are eager to see you again. Here we are. Now you can be with your friends again. Ah, oh, there you are. Welcome back. I saw you all in action. My wonderful men. You were magnificent. 
I ain't one of your men, Grandad. Neither am I. And I'm a free agent. Hmm? <laughs> of course, of course. And I suppose you weren't magnificent either. Wise bird! A uh, god! I, uh, are you leaving us already? This world is in no danger now. My path leads to other worlds. I see. Well, anyway, we are in your de... Wait a minute! Aren't you forgetting something? What about the princess and I? Hmm? Just how long are we going to have to suffer this outrageous curse? Well, the power of Rapthorn's curse is weakening. It will not be long now. Really? Splendid! I feel much better for hearing that. Well, I don't know where your next destination is, but take care. Is it uh, proper to tell a god uh, to take care? I am not a god, nor is my real name Imperia. These are but the names you humans have given to me. I was known by a different name in the land of my birth. There I was called Ramia. But now I must leave. Goodbye, brave humans. It has been an honor to have known you. Is there a Mr. Godbird? Goodbye. Granddad, you're sparkling. It's taken you this long to notice. A personality as rich as mine always sparkles. Nah, I mean literally. Take a look at yourself. Hmm? <laughs> I, I, I'm back to normal. <laughs> Hurrah! I'm back! Finally rid of that hideously ugly guys. But you don't look no different. You look exactly the same as before! <laughs> <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Yankus is not wrong. <laughs> what did you say? Are you blind? Dazzled by my striking appearance, no doubt. <laughs> Princess, where is my beautiful Medea? Hello, everyone. Medea, you're back. Oh, my beloved Medea. At last, at last, the curse is lifted. Everything is back as it should be. Father. Hey, look. My castle is back to its old self, too.
Trodane is restored. The glory returns. Everyone, this calls for a banquet. Prepare a feast. And roll credits. <laughs> I feel bad for all these people who, like, have been plants for ages and then immediately had to prepare a banquet. Do y'all see this cat? Cat wants the fishy. Cat's gonna get the fishy. And of course, Munchie gets all the cheese he can eat because he is the best mouse in the world. <laughs> the poor cook's trying to keep up with Yangus. Uh-oh, Jessica's mad. Several months later. Gaff! Hey, hey! Long time no see, eh? I ain't seen your mug since we polished off that fat geezer. I've been playing it straight, Gaff. None of that dodgy business I was up to before I met you. Yeah, I've been doing a bit of trading, you know, bits and bobs like. Been sailing round and selling stuff in all the places we went to together. This bird, a uh, mate of mine's been bugging me for ages to help her with it. So here I am. You're looking at Yengus, the important exporter now. Anyway. I heard your big news. So you're head of the palace guards then, eh? Diamond. I'm well chuffed I can help you out on your first big job and all. And it's for none other than our darling horse print. Oh, listen to me. She ain't an horse anymore, is she? So we're escorting the princess to a wedding at Savella Cathedral, right? Oh, I don't know, though. Beats me why she's still marrying that charmless bloke. After all this happened. Oh, yeah. Nearly forgot. I was supposed to give you a message from this old minister I saw on the way over. Seems the princess is ready to deport now. So you can go and fetch her from a room like. I'll be waiting down in the courtyard then, eh? See you in a bit. All right. I guess we're in charge of the guards. That's logical. Oh. Ah, it's been a while. I came as soon as I heard the news. So it seems we'll have the honor of escorting the lovely princess. I just ran into Yangus too, same as ever. I'm a busy man, as you know. So I wasn't too thrilled at first at having to drop everything and come over. But it is good to see the old gang again. 
Anyway, are you really all right with this wedding going ahead? You don't have to stick around if it's too hard for you. Just do what you have to do, my friend. Like I did when I left the Abbey. Oh, <laughs> Angelo's so wonderful. You know, he looks after children who don't have anywhere else to go. Don't you? He says he wants to repay all the kindness Abbot Francisco showed him when he was all alone in the world. <laughs> Isn't he just the sweetest man you ever met? <laughs> hey, no need to tell the whole world. I have a certain image to maintain with my admirers. Uh, I don't like the eye contact I'm getting from Angelo right now. <laughs> Well then, see you in a bit. I'll be down in the courtyard taking a break. Come and find me when you're ready. What exactly will you be taking a break from, bruh? Pretty well, that's for sure. But how come you haven't visited me in Alexandria? I've missed you. You know, I was planning to go off and live on my own, but my mother was so worried I ended up settling down back at home. I guess the time I spent away from her made us both realize what's truly important to us. We get on really well now. I'm not much of a replacement for my brother, but I've decided to stay and look after Alexandria. With everyone's help, of course. But enough of that. Have you heard? Apparently Yangus and Red have teamed up now and they're doing something together. Can you believe it? Last I remember they couldn't exchange two words without three insults. I wonder what went on between them. <laughs> That's such a wonderful turn of phrase. Couldn't exchange two words without three insults. <laughs> huh? You're on your way to pick up Princess Medea? Yeah, I guess it's time to get going. Okay, then. I'll be waiting for you down in the courtyard. All right. Nope. Wrong room. Further down the hall. I suppose this is the last time I'll play the piano like this in here. I wonder if there'll be a piano I can play in Argonia. Thank you for coming. Is it already time to leave? I asked the minister to have you call on me so that we could take one last walk through the castle, alone together, just like old times. I know it's not quite time yet, but I wanted to say goodbye to you properly to thank you for everything you've done. The times I've spent here in Tredane Castle, with you, will be memories I shall treasure for always. I have to marry the Prince of Argonia to fulfill my royal duty. And you have to... Please continue to serve my father and protect Tredane, just as you always have. Oh. So then, shall we go? It won't do to keep people waiting too long.
wonder if she misses simple times of pulling the horse and pulling the cart as a horse. So this is Savella Cathedral. What a perfect place for a grand royal wedding. Excellent work, young man. You did an admirable job of escorting us. Your duty here has now been fulfilled. You shall stay the night at the inn and return to Trudane tomorrow. But I thought they'd all be attending the wedding. I'm sorry, princess. But I'm afraid that won't be possible. I don't see why the fuck not. We saved the whole goddamn world from a flying testicle monster. Speaking of. Well, well. Pleased to make your acquaintance indeed. I am Prince Charmley of Argonia. Goodness! Ooh, ooh. You must be Princess Medea! Ooh, charmed, I'm sure. One look at you is enough to make me forget all the other beautiful girls I've ever met. <laughs> I'm the luckiest man in the world to have you as my wife. Blimey! What's with all the romance? I didn't know you had it in you, Charmless. It's Charmley! Oh! Aren't you those servants from the initiation? Hmm. No doubt you're here because you heard the news of my wedding. Well, I'm afraid this is as far as you can come. I can't possibly have commoners like you at such a grand royal affair. It's not as if you're aristocracy or wealthy or, well, anything. <laughs> Saved the world from a literal flying testicle monster. Man, what do you got to do to get some respect around that here? That brat is unbelievable. Can't let us in on account of our being too common indeed. The preening little snob. It's been a while since the initiation, but he is still just as obnoxious as ever. And yet tomorrow, he's going to be marrying the princess. Can you believe it? Are you really going to let this happen? If you ask me, it's your duty as chief of the palace guard to protect the princess's happiness. Rise and shine, Gav. The princess will be getting itched in a bit. We've come all this way. We should at least try and get a glimpse of her all dolled up. I'll go on ahead then, eh? I'll be waiting in front of that big church. We thought you weren't coming. The ceremony's already started. It's Bedlam up there with all those people. I doubt anyone would notice you among the crowd. Well, then we shall join the crowd. What? 
Lorenzo. Huh. Go figure. I mean, what a crowd. I can't see a thing from here. Rolo did sacrifice himself in order for us to escape, so, like, I don't know. Maybe he learned his lesson and he's gonna be not a shitbag. What's going on? Has it already started? People are saying that the bride looks stunning. I wish I was more like her. I'm more interested in seeing the new Lord High Priest than the Bride and Groom, but it's impossible to see anything from here. <laughs> Congratulations, Princess Medea! Congratulations, Prince Charles! Hey, stop pushing! Wow! <laughs> there you are, Gav. I knew you'd turn up. Right, this way. Follow me. Well, we've got this far. Now, we just have to take care of that knight. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. What? You leave him to me, Gav. Go on, in you go. Honestly, where has the princess got to? What could possibly be taking her so long? Well, there's an error. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Are you trying to ruin my wedding? Just emulator things. I won't stand for it. Guards, get rid of him at once. Excuse me for the interruption, Your Majesty, Lords, ladies and gentlemen. I, uh, I have an urgent communique for the king. Van, Domenico, what? I saw Princess Is Minnie at the front. True? Ah. What is it, Father? Tell me at once. It seems the bride, Princess Medea, has disappeared. What did you say? I don't believe it. Well, she must have been kidnapped. It's the only explanation. Aha! Of course! It was you! This is all you're doing! He was jealous, so he kidnapped the princess! Seize him at once! I don't, that, that's not how any of this works, man. I kidnapped her, why would I be here? Okay. Hey? What's going on, Gov? Where's the princess? What's happened to the wedding? Hey! Get over here, we've got trouble. King Trode and Princess Medea are surrounded by soldiers down there. You what? I don't get it. But we better get a move on, Gov. It don't look good. Stay right where you are! Do you think we'll just let you go after you ruin the royal wedding like that? 
Leave them to us. You just get the princess and king trove to safety. Just in the nick of time, I knew I could depend on you. You have to take Medea and escape from here at once. I can't possibly let that awful Prince Charmless marry my beautiful Medea. My country's honor matters not one jot compared to her happiness. Please, take her to safety. Well, princess, do you want to run away with me? My marriage was arranged by our two families long ago. I thought I had no choice but to accept it gracefully. I always resigned myself to it. I always saw it as my duty as princess. But I simply can't abide him. If it's a choice between marrying that twit and being a horse, you can make mine a grass sandwich. I can't live my whole life denying my true feelings. Take my hand and let's run away together. Please, take me away from here. Hell yeah. We needed a little romance in this story about how we saved the whole fucking world. And still no one respects us. Also, why are soldiers fighting the king of Trodane? Do they not know who he is? I'm very confused, but whatever political machinations are happening here. How could you let them get away, you incompetent rogues? Could you be so remiss as to let a wagged wobble like them rout you, you rotten rascals? I should have known better than to entrust my princess's retrieval to a troop of reluctant waffnecks! Then why don't you go after them and bring the princess back yourself? But, but, but uh, I can't do that all on my own. I'll send the royal guard. Typical. You think that just because you're a prince, you can solve everything with money and power. But, but I got that huge argon heart during the initiation all by myself. Enough of your lies. Uh-oh, Clavius is mad. I know the truth. Is it legal to disinherit him? Because you should. Because dude's a tool. <laughs> Those delicious pixels, though, am I right?
All right, there's the credit roll. So that was the ending, quote unquote, um, to Dragon Quest VIII. Um, there is more stuff, though. Spoiler alert. Um, which I've already talked about the post game. Uh, so we have to wait for the credits to finish playing um, in order for us to save. And also there, we're going to see extra little story bits in the vignettes besides the credits. Um, it's sort of an explanation of like what's happening. So or a, a retooling of the journey, I guess. Yeah, because that was Fairbury. And Medea defends Trode. And then we helped call Darasha. And then we met Jessica. And she tried to kill us. But we dodged. It's fine. That was the cutscene that we didn't get to see because it didn't play correctly. Bangers and Mash. And then we learned about how Yangus became part of the crew. We met Marcello and Angelo. We finally caught up with Dual Magus. Only for us to be completely unable to do anything about him. We went to Wisher's Peak. We opened the moon shadow window. We met Ishmari. And we helped King Pavan, who's grieving his beloved Queen Sasha. There's like no queens in this game. They're all dead. <laughs> and then we met Red because she had gotten the horse. And then we found Trodane and all its ruin. And then we got the ship. We went to Baccarat. We discovered the Mystic Spring. And we got to actually see Medea for the first time. We met Charmels. We helped him with the initiation. He disregarded our help completely. <laughs> We used the sun mirror to pierce the dark ruins. We learned about Rapthorn for the first time. We took on Dual Magus for the last time. Jessica fell under the spell of the scepter. We made our way to the cold north. Got trapped in an avalanche. We're rescued by Marta. We discovered the pirate chest, the chart. We made our way to the Godbird Isle. We went to the dark world. We got thrown in prison. Faced off against Marcello again. But defeating Marcello allowed Rapthorn to take control of him and reawaken his castle. defeated him inside the castle, but then he just respawned. But it's okay, because we killed him.
It's been a long journey. A lot has happened along the way, but it's all worked out well in the end. Old obligations matter not one jot. What matters is being able to live a full and happy life. You should decide for yourself who you wish to marry. I won't rush you. Take as long as you need. Although, I don't know how easy it will be to find someone now that you've jilted a prince. <laughs> We jilted a prince who frickin' deserved it because he sucked. Like, just as a person. Just piece of crap. Congratulations! You succeeded in defeating the Lord of Darkness. If you save here, your victory will be recorded in an adventure log. This will allow you to continue your adventure from the moment just before you set off to fight Rapthorn. That is, post the dungeon thing that we did. Record your triumph so a new legend may be born! Yes! We do want to save. <laughs> Ooh, what's all this then? All right, my friends. So that's going to do it for today's stream. As always, if you've missed anything or if you came in late or what have you, this will be up on YouTube later. Um, and when we pick up on Tuesday night, we're going to figure out what that weird glowing thing at the end there was. And we're going to do the end game stuff. And yeah, hopefully we'll finish that Tuesday, maybe spill over into Wednesday and then we'll do all the other like random stuff that I haven't done yet. So, uh, thank you so much for joining me once again. Uh, please come back Tuesday evening and we will see what happens next.